it's a sexual park game. Yes, it is. Oh, wait. Shit. Oh, hi, Tango. <laughs> hi, buddy. But man. What do you got there? He's rubbing his face against my leg. Attention, you little shit. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. So, what happened last time as I'm trying to get the music fucking on repeat? Let's see. Uh, where did we start? We started with Owen talking to Silas, trying to f basically do the bar thing of like understand them so that he could uh, set up his magnificent <laughs> mansion. Or no. <laughs> It wasn't his whole mansion. It was like a section in the mansion was set up like her house, their house, right? Well, it is the whole mansion. There is a connecting door. Okay, okay. So set up his mansion to look like Silas's house, which is very cool and very nice of him. Just, just don't think about how that actual house is burnt to the ground. Mostly burnt to the mm -hmm. ground. Uh, let's see. That happens. I have a little ditty. It was very interesting, actually. Uh, we go inside and with our party of 50 we diversify throughout the house or spread out throughout the house go wherever a number of us go to the kitchen a number of us go to the freaking yeah, living room either. all that other stuff Ugh. people just kind of went all over the place oh my god uh where did it start where did it start? it's quite the populated map <laughs> so much uh Let's start with uh, memory bias. So, Oriana uh, noticed that uh, Scavola and Tushiana and their kind of like group were outside. So she stayed inside and kind of eavesdropped and spied on them just a little bit just to see what was going on by hanging out in the kitchen. She got some information from that. I'm not at liberty to disclose this information, but there was information gotten. Meanwhile, uh, Alessander, I mean Coulter, I mean Alessander, I mean Coulter, he changed his outfit a couple times. Uh... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Food options. Blair was... I don't want to say enjoying <laughs> the moment of just this very mundane human thing of, like, making dinner. It was just kind of washing over her, if I remember correctly. Anyways. She, she was enjoying it. She was enjoying it. Okay. I still disguised. I'll say her Blair. Uh... Silas and uh, Anushka end up going upstairs to... I can't remember what the reasoning initially was to go upstairs, but they went upstairs. Um, upstairs, they ended up going to, I believe, Silas' little hiding spot, which turned out to have been pimped the hell out. Uh, mm -hmm. They jump at a dumbwaiter, uh, mm -hmm. because Ichabod locks him in the in the, in the the room, uh, and then they go down to the dumbwaiter. Uh, yep. yep. Do I say what happened there first? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. They go down the dumbwaiter and pop out in a completely different place. It, it, there's nothing downstairs. They go mm -hmm. to a completely different realm entirely. Um, mm -hmm. realm. Known as... It's a different shard. Let's go with that. Um, uh, a place known as Wayfarer's Fork. Uh, seemingly, there was a bartender named Billy. Uh, they got a drink, which was based after Anushka, uh, which was like a noose shot, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it had this shot. weird... Yeah, I had this berry to cause it to be super stupidly sweet. Um, and they got a cup, I mean, a stein with a WF written on the bottom. Escapade. Uh, and when they got back, Ichabod immediately stole the cup, ran away, and, <laughs> and gave it to Oriana, who then hid it uh, in a cabinet. We'll get back to that one later. Um, meanwhile, all that stupid shit was happening. In the kindest way possible, it was a lot of stupid shit. It was a lot of stupid shit. It was very fun. <laughs> Altani. Oh, there was so much other stuff in there that I did not write down? What? I'm a dumbass. Okay. Uh, the next thing I've written down is Altani talking to Silas about how their family is... Odd? For lack of a better term? Mm. Um... Yeah, Altani was talking to uh, Nilly. Is that the or no? Uh, oh God, Finley is, is the sister. Finley. I was talking to Finley. Um, uh, Finley mentioned uh, at, uh, asking if Delvet was single. Alexander came rushing <laughs> over, 
And she oh, was yeah, nervous yeah. around his gun, and Altani noticed it. Um, and how, how did how did she describe it? It was like um, there was something affecting essentially their key. Oh, because Altani is like aspirated, aspirated did into monk stuff, so she actually does have her own control and knowledge of the key as well. Aspiring. Yeah, aspiring. Aspired into. Inspired. Yeah, there you go. Words. Um, <laughs> Can't be um, it. That's good to know. Um, but yeah. Uh, wh wh where did that, that conversation go, Garth? I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, no, you're fine. I didn't... Okay, so Altani mentions that her their family is weird. TM. Um... I think it was in the sense of like, there's like a, like a secondary check to put it in kind of computer terms of just like every action they do has to go through this like and or gate of did this happen? Okay, do that or I guess be in if else whatever. Uh, this gate of just like this happened. Okay, don't need this answer. Go back to normal state. And then another thing happens like did this thing happen? Okay, no, go to normal state. But da da da. Um. Silas looked into it a little bit and determined that there was some magical elements involved. Seemingly, there's, like, possibly two layers of magic. One to keep the other layer of magic secret. And then the secret magic flare that is kind of just, like, this command thing that you have no idea what the fuck it is. Uh, we don't know where it came from. There's a couple different options. Uh, Bellamy is the easiest option to point at because, yeah... Um, something that popped up in my head is maybe Tertiana put something in there, like, when they were a kid. So it's like, maybe it's something Silas never noticed because it's just been there their entire life. And then Altani pointed out, because, like, hey, that's weird. <laughs> and that's why Silas noticed. I don't know. Could be something else. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're cursed. <laughs> just like Angus. Maybe that town just attracts <laughs> cursed people. Uh, I believe there was some other stuff. I feel like there's so much more that I'm missing. Um, there's a lot of conversations, yeah. and, and usually in uh, sessions where there's a lot of talking, a lot of uh, uh, conversations like that, it's hard to get all of them. So just, mm -hmm. you know, wide brush strokes with this one, I think. Um, uh, I guess the only other major conversation I can think of was um, the the whole thing with uh, Lanin. <laughs> Yeah, it had a couple different what, instances of what, So what, what thing of what? <laughs> yeah, oh, right, sorry, this, this uh, new addition to the... Um, uh, oh, God, what's their party name? Uh, Free Marchers. Free Marchers. Definitely it's not a new addition. That's how I phrase it. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's something I came with. Oh. That, that, yeah, that's a yeah. moment, yeah. Here, here's what happened. Oriana went to go to talk to them, figure out where Lana is. Lana's not here. Well, that's weird. Uh, uh, Shivir uh, says, oh, hey... Uh, he, he also slows his voice down. He slows down his speech and puts his deeper voice on. It's like, fucking stop. <laughs> he, he did the I'm flirting with you, but not really thing. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, he says Lonin got some fey disease. Kept it very vague. And it's like, okay, to be fair, it's fairy. It could be fucking anything. Um, mm -hmm. This other person is just randomly here. It's like, oh, yeah, that's someone that Owen had along with him when he picked us up. And I don't know. They're just here. It's like. Okay, sure. I rolled really bad on every check involving this. <laughs> so I was like, that sounds believable. Yeah, sure. Owen's a traveler kind of sort. She ends up going to find Owen at some point to ask about Lonin, because it's like he would probably have a better understanding of weird fairy sicknesses. Uh, and she ends up mentioning the other person, and she's like, or he's responds with, that was someone that was with the free marchers when I picked him up. That, that was just like someone that was there. It's like, <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. At this point, uh, Alexander, however, had already come into the room talked to Shavir for about five seconds and looked at Lana and I was just like, I know you. Yeah. Why has Lana got long eyelashes, though? <laughs> Why has Lana got tits? Um, Anyways. I can't remember if Alexander just came out and said or if he just hinted that he knew. I, I, I think he hinted at it because Lana had the really good insight, yeah. right? Um, but regardless, they talked about that briefly, um, which all culminated in culminated into uh, Alessandra and Javier having a uh, revolver spinoff, which uh, <laughs> Alessandra won. <laughs> <laughs> very important. Very, very, very important. The master. Obviously, obviously. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. And then uh, Alessandra sat down, delved it to hang out. 
I also noticed that Mr. Neil over here took a seat. <laughs> Wait, is that Neil? No. Yeah, no, that's Neil. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, a step before this, uh, Anushka and Silas decided to go interrogate Oriana about the cup. Uh, mm -hmm. Turns out they were right. Oriana didn't exactly want to tell them exactly what it was because she felt they had enough information to figure out where it was and they never did any investigation. And then Silas reveals later on that they just have a spell to find it. And it's like, what was this whole thing about? <laughs> why, were you, why were you interrogating people if you yeah. could just magically find yeah. it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Anushka mildly gave up on the search after that one <laughs> because it was just like, you can find <laughs> it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, skipping back to the lawn thing, Oriana went to go and kind of confront Shiver, Lana, and Tirfka, and Altani. Why? Why did last week that not pop up? Anyways, um, <laughs> she was literally like walking past the chair to go and talk to them, and noticed like, hey, uh, Alta no, not Altani. That's not her fucking name. Who, what the fuck is the name of her? Naru? Naru. Yeah, Naru. I'm gonna forget that. Like. I'm gonna write that down. Um, yeah, so she goes to start in confronting them and then notices uh, Altani is real sad girl hours. She talks to Altani <laughs> instead, uh, basically oh, yeah. flipping like a 180 to be like, hey, what's up? Um, and it turns out she was like having like kind of a self identity crisis of just like, hey, do I come off too strong? Am I like a bit much? Am I da 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 with all the rival stuff? And it was kind of like, yeah, it's a lot of. You got a lot of presence here, but there's a lot of personality here. You can rein it in, or you could just like not give a shit about other people's opinions. Um, and then Alexander also hopped in, uh, and we kind of like low key were just like, "You can kind of join if you want to. There's no problem <laughs> with it, but you have to check with everybody, make sure it's fine." Um, yeah, yeah. We're basically trying to instill with her that uh, you don't need to change. You just need to find people that you gel with. Yeah. Us. Like, <laughs> the crazy people. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's crazy 8 billion people crazy. on the planet. Yeah, there's 8 mm -hmm. billion people on the planet. Most of them you're not going to get along with. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and then we also uh, pointed out that the cup was in this little cabin over here. So she grabbed that and was going to go give it to Silas. I'm going to go Silas. Um, I said maybe Anushka because they were also looking for the cup, but like, because I think at this point it will be Anushka if Nina doesn't hop on. So yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah. Oh, also, uh, Mr. Neil over here, uh, kind of paused reality here. So no, Altani. that's not his name. Mr. It, Neil it is Neil. It is Neil. Yeah, you, I thought you said O'Neil. My mistake. No, he said Mr. Neil. <laughs> 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 I, I thought you were getting my I'm ass sorry. about the Mr. part. I was like, oh, no, what? it's Marshall Neal. <laughs> <laughs> well, depending on what that is, that, that is technically true, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Garth. I misheard you. I don't worry about it. Um, yeah. Uh, t train of thought. He mildly... He didn't pause reality. He, he made it so that nobody was really listening to the conversation we were having. And Altani mentioned, <laughs> hey, sounds his family. Being weird. Just gave Alexander and her like a very brief rundown of that because Altani didn't super understand. She just kind of picked it up. Um, yeah, so we kind of know about that. Uh, and then Oriana went to go and talk to them and lana has gone. <laughs> huh? Womp womp. As, as is her habit with... Hi. Oh, uh, she's risen. Hey, bud. You wake up. How you feeling? I feel like shit. Oh, oh me. Should have went to bed earlier. Yeah. So, uh, keep going. Yeah, as a tradition with anything involving Oriana rolling for Lawden currently, she will roll terrible and did not notice him literally just evacuating out of the situation. And I have no it idea. It really is like a, like a stereotypical romance movie. They just keep having these near misses, you know? Honestly? <laughs> honestly. That's true. <laughs> uh, is Lonin still on the map, actually? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Try checking the, the fucking closet. <laughs> uh, no, he's not over here. Also, or I didn't realize there was a smokehouse back here. Yeah. 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 Exhausted. <laughs> okay, second. Um, what are, okay, there's two other things. Miles walked by at a point and said, hey, keep your eyes out, or 
ears, brain. He he was kind of someone was itching his head, which means something because he's like psychic. So he's like something odd is around here. Uh, and fuck, there was one other thing. Fuck. Oh, Varric. Uh, he was kind of sneaking around the place, kind of doing social uh, social espionage <laughs> sort of deal, <laughs> which we got a hint at with um, when he came back in here with Abigail. And Altani was just like, oh yeah, Varric said mean things to me. I was like, why would he say that? He doesn't even know. What? Hold on. That scene alone gave him a class feature. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, we also Work. kind of picked up that Altani is what's known as an exemplar. I don't think our characters know what an exemplar is. but uh, do, do you even know what an exemplar is? Kind of, sort of, not really. Someone who is exemplary. <laughs> yeah, Someone who's connected to the Dreaming Stone <laughs> doesn't have to know about it, but they're more notable of a figure than just anybody that ends up in the Dreaming City. Presumably, they... Similar to Abigail and Varric, they probably transcend like campaigns in a certain way. Or transcend stories, maybe. Not sure. Um, I think that's a about where we left off it was the early parts of the early parts of the party and a lot of people are uh finishing up food and not everyone's even here right now we still have like well well food isn't people. even distributed yet like the yeah. dinner's really made so <laughs> uh, also, also i'm trying to fix all uh -huh. these fucking cabinets and stuff because they put them on top of the black walls Bro, I thought I was fucking going crazy. Seeing no, no, that's, that's just my me. Eyes. No, that's just me. That's just me. Like, yeah, I I like it's this it's supposed to be. Like it's supposed to be in the back. Like it's supposed to, like the black line is supposed to be uh. above it. But I don't know why I reset it. So if you see that happen, that's just me fixing okay, it. But it's, gotcha. it's actually bugging me. I was freaking the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> am I? Am I, am I Wait, wait, so what you're telling me is I'm schizophrenic and have no! a <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, don't oh no, it messed up the effects. Minecraft beds too. God damn it. It messed up the oh, Minecraft God. beds. <laughs> um What did Alice Alessander did some he had a conversation with someone Oh, he, he planned a sick prank yeah, with, uh... Oh my god, I forgot uh, about it. Come on. Uh, and then, oh yeah, he also had a conversation with uh, this Ulysses guy, who was, like, I think the only person in this whole building that he did not recognize in some capacity, mm -hmm. besides, of course, uh, Owen, um, who we already okay. uh, heard about. Um, and, uh, they had a very brief conversation, him as Coulter, uh, Ulysses as Ulysses, um... Oh, and, you had to uh, reintroduce... <laughs> 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 and um to the next level uh and as they parted ways they both felt weird they both felt all, well peculiar. all three of us felt weird <laughs> he speaks the true true hmm. all right let's see. i think i'm done fixing all the fucking walls yeah Point me out to you if i see any I like the smokehouse. The smokehouse. Da smoke. There you go. There you go. All right. Now I think I'm good. Good day. I'm fairly certain. What about these little like trapezoid looking things in the uh? Ah, shit, you're right. Yeah, that's just meant to indicate <laughs> cushion and. <laughs> Boom. Everything else oh, thank you. Good, though, yeah, Captain Oswald is just fucking here, and so's the the preacher fellow. And wasn't there was there one other person <laughs> that showed up with them from the the Voidic place, or no? I don't know who yeah. he who else he bring. Captain Oswald was the son of a creature man. He brings a Connie. <laughs> this is hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> you redeemed me. I am he ready said to he fight fix for the sign of good. Let us interrogate <laughs> captive prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Spymaster oh, no. is like, wait, he has a point. Zipsy. <laughs> oh, Anyways, no. I think how about it is it. That's about it, yeah. Then allow us to get, 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 get back into it. I have the... Uh, oh. Okay, good. I swear to God, we're broken. Good old attack on type too. So uh yeah, we, we pick up right where we left off, I I guess is.
uh, conver radiant discussions, radiant conversations have been distributed in the homecoming chat. If you want to get an idea what the public conversations were, as you guys are strutting around or whatnot. Oh, I found one. Bathroom. Get the bathroom. Uh, yeah, there. It's okay. I swear, there's probably one or two more. Uh, there's stuff over here, like the corners. Where? Off to the right side, over here in the closet. Ah, shit. And then, like, this spot. And then... Hey, wait, hold on. Can I just do this? There you go. Nice. Sweet. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, so... We pick up right where we left off. ba 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 ba, -ba. Yeah, so... Dinner is still being prepped. Uh, it's... Pretty close to being finished. Your guys' assorted companions, compatriots, if you want to be really out of game critical about it, NPCs are, you know, idling. <laughs> sort of doing whatevs. Varric is in the midst of talking with uh, Kasai, Blair, and Tolis. <laughs> Which I guess a number of you guys are in the kitchen, or in proximity to the kitchen. So, you know. You guys could see him doing that. The three women he's talking to right now have, uh, what's the term? The, the, the term that's coming to my mind is a put on face, but that sounds mm. sinister. Uh, so not, I'm not saying that, but they all have like this like intrigued, bemused sort of expressions on them. Because those three people he's talking to are probably, like, the three that do not lie in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> well, 50-50 on Tolis, I guess. <laughs> Literally a smuggler, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Smuggler doesn't lie is a really good one. 50-50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's just talking with them. Some relatively general stuff. So, Alessandra, as you walk in the room, Anushka, you're, like, right there, so you're just sort of hearing this conversation behind you, <laughs> next to you. Whomst, <laughs> whatever. <sighs> so, uh, what are you all up to? As I approach, what is what is Beric talking to them about? Or is it that what was uh, said in the homecoming? Uh, no, yeah. So that's the interesting thing. None of Varric's conversations with everyone is actually in the homecoming. Most of them, or like 99% of them, yeah. because all those are private. I believe we, only one about we're about here. to see the uh, charade unfold with uh, Ichabod last time, but we <laughs> ended just end before it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, Alessander, you we have this dastardly plan of mine. You walk in and Varric, well, I guess Kasai is probably speaking to Varric about what their next step is. She even, like, as you walk in the room, she indicates you, like, she gestures at you. And you can get an idea of, like, probably what she's talking about, if she's indicating you and the idea of futures. Oh. Uh, no, the question is, is it short-term or long-term future? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just the agenda that the group has, essentially. Blair is pretty quick, clean, simple. She wants to go back to her old village. Mm -hmm. Wherever it is. Uh, well, sensing if there's like a, a lull in the conversation, I think Alessandro will uh, walk up, uh, kind of put his hand on a, a Kasai's shoulder and uh, pat Anushka on the back here, uh, and say, what are we all talking about? No, does that mean to say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know, I should just start coming around and be like, oh, well, so far I'm just uh, listening in. So, Hello. Virhek was asking about what our next steps were. Where we plan to go. Oh, well, that's a bit of a loaded question. One with a lot of answers, I wager. Mm. Indeed. He looks across, like, sort of past, like, Blair and Tolis towards, like, the table. It seems that the gods call for different directions. Apparently so. I think Nuts. deciding what to go might be a bit tricky, though. Frost Court of Call, at least. Indeed. I suppose only time will tell. Right. 
Huh. He looks back to like continue talking, but he like the person he has to continue speaking with is Taurus. And Taurus and their daemon is like just uh, it's like it's like a kid waiting to like hand in their extra credit to the teacher after class. Like this like <laughs> expression of like glee. <laughs> Aw? I don't know how you describe it. Varric knows what's coming. You guys know what's coming. It's Tolus we're talking about here. Tol if Tolus isn't asking questions, then that might be a doppelganger. You should shoot them. And he just like, you can see he's like rather I will get a, like postured slip a bit. I will talk with you all later. He says, looking at you, Alessandra and you and Anushka. Very well then. All right. Uh... Looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, b by the way, has anyone seen Coulter? Coulter? Because I just yeah. say you like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. My brother in Christ. The gunslinger we met in the, uh, the few. Was that not... Uh, is it just cover that was that was Alessandro disguise? Yeah, right. Yeah, so you're, yeah, you're, you're, yeah you're, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was getting so dressed in that disguise. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's just like raising an eyebrow, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at it, cause I've been like, is he serious? <laughs> well, you all saw him walk around this party. He he was invited. And then uh, at that, these doors uh, up <laughs> by uh, past the table. <laughs> swing open and almost collide into the walls. In fact, you know, fuck it, they do collide into the walls. And uh, spurs clinking, uh, hands on his belt. Jink, jink, jink. Coulter walks in. He tips his hat back and looks at every pair of eyes in this room. You probably yeah. make. Uh, roll your performance. Oh, my performance? Roll your performance. What's your prof? Three? Four? Yeah. Three. Four. Four? Okay, add two. Oh, my bad. Wait, add eight. At eight? Jesus. Owen. Expertise. 28. Because I don't think Kasai's going to give me uh, <laughs> guidance on this. No, I don't think you're giving any guidance on this as... as Because you're technically <laughs> wrong for Ichabod in like a right. certain regard of like as he throws open the door... The jingles echo. <laughs> they bounce across the walls. Chink! Pink. <laughs> Owen gives like a applause, like nice. They show me shit. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, styling. Real guys, real. Kasai just like looks at you as Al Alexander, not you. This you, and then looks at other you and looks back and forth. How did Zaz do the same? <laughs> uh, Alexander is beaming as he and Coulter make eye contact. And he shouts out, Coulter Wesson Bear! And Coulter shouts out, Alexander Whitelock, you son of a bitch! And they're gonna <laughs> walk it towards each other. They're gonna do the Predator arm grab. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely. The jar looks at his drink, looks at the two guys, looks at the drink, puts the drink down. <laughs> you you son of a left. bitch! Yeah. They clap hands. What they start to the arm wrestle, right but Alexander loses. <laughs> Hey, oh, the funny. big man. Okay, hold well, on, I need to... What are we looking at? I need a mustard energy first one. Where the energy? Gotta slam it. You're gonna do Altani. So, Altani is in the midst of, like, setting down the... Uh, Wayfarer Stein 